Now we'll talk about multiplying binomials and I'll show you a method called the FOIL method and this is probably the most common way to do it and you hear this term FOIL used in just about every algebra class and algebra textbook that at least that I've ever seen. FOIL is an acronym. It stands for FIRST and the O stands for OUTER and the I stands for INNER and the L stands for LAST first, outer, inner, last. And you, you remember that with the word FOIL. Now here's how you use that word to actually solve a problem. Suppose you have this, a plus 3 times a plus 7. Well I have two binomials. I'm going to look at the first term from each binomial. That's the first, the F. And then the O stands for outer. I look at the outer two terms and the I stands for inner, so I look at the inner two terms, and then the L stands for last, so I look at the last two terms. And in each case I multiply those together. So the first is A times A, the first two terms, that gives me an A squared. The outer is A times 7. I'll write that as 7A, and then the inner is 3 times a, the inner two terms, so I write plus 3a, and then the last term from each binomial is 3 times 7, so I write plus 21. And then the 7a and the 3a get combined, so I have a squared plus 10a plus 21. So the FOIL is just a, a way a method for getting each term from one binomial multiplied by each term from the other. And we said earlier that that is the main idea. We need to make sure each term from one binomial is multiplied by each term from the other. And the FOIL gets us there. Here's another example, x plus 3 times x minus 5. Well, we'll do a FOIL, do the first outer inner last. The first is x times x, so that gives me x squared the outer two terms are x and negative 5. Don't forget that that negative sign is part of that 5. So I have x times negative 5 and that gives me a minus 5x. The inner two terms are the 3 and the x so this is plus 3x and then the last terms are 3 and negative 5 so that gives me a minus 15. And again don't forget that negative sign. And then, as, as before, I can combine my like terms, in this case the minus 5x and the 3x, and I get x squared minus 2x minus 15. Okay, and one more example using the FOIL technique. I'm going to do first, outer, inner, last. So my first terms are 2x times 3x. That gives me a 6x squared. 2x times 3x is 6x squared. And then my outer terms are 2x times 5, and that's 10x. And then the inner two terms are the 4 and the 3x. And when I multiply those together, I get 12x. And my last two terms are 4 times 5, and that's 20. So each of those came from one letter in the FOIL, first, outer, inner, and last. And then the 10x and the 12x can be combined, and that will be a 22x. So my answer is going to be 6x squared plus 22x plus 20. And again, the main idea in multiplying two binomials is that each term in one binomial gets multiplied by each term in the other. And FOIL accomplishes exactly that. It's just a, sh a shortcut or an acronym to help you remember uh, a series of steps that does exactly what we need to do, and that is multiply each term in one binomial by each term in the other.